this weekend is going to be a little bit hectic. <laughs> my plan was actually to do some product photos for my tumblers and get those up on Etsy. However, I only have two Tumblr designs right now. And honestly, I would really like at least three Tumblr designs going up in my shop. And I want to do like coasters, like a launch along with it. So I'm going to actually hold off on them. I'm also currently working on some planner pads, which I'll be working on a little bit today in this vlog. However, I can't really work on my tumblers this weekend because we have decided to um, upgrade the workspace downstairs and change the living room around a little bit to look a little bit nicer. It's gonna be a pretty busy weekend. This morning, we are actually waiting for a wall stripper, like a wallpaper stripper to come. It's gonna arrive by 1 p.m. today. So I decided for the morning time, I'm just gonna work on some designs and then once the wallpaper stripper arrives, we can start making a bit of progress on the workspace downstairs and our living room and everything. I'm excited, I'm excited to hopefully have my downstairs workspace look a little bit better because it really needs it at this point. It's so, uh, so bad. I'll show you uh, the designs I've been working on. They are definitely taking a lot longer than I thought they would, but I think it's just because I'm doing my first ever weekly planner designs and I haven't done weekly planners before. So it's kind of taking me a little while to kind of get like the size of the boxes right and like the design look looking good and stuff. But um, so that's the first one that I've been working on. I really, really like it. I think it's super, super cute. Uh, it just needs like obviously a bit more work done. The lines for the text I'll be doing in Photoshop and stuff. So. It is currently half 10 in the morning. I am probably going to be drawing until around 1 p.m. And then we'll head downstairs and we'll start upgrading our workspace. I have this like horrible problem lately, which I have struggled with in the past. And I know it's a common thing with artists as well, where I can't stop myself from jumping from art piece to art piece. I just can't finish a piece of art or like a planner design or a sticker design without jumping to another one because I get another idea. And then I jump from that one back to the old one because I want to work on that and finish that. And it's like, <laughs> it's an absolute nightmare. So what I'm going to do is today, I'm going to just focus on getting this one done. I think it needs a bit more added to it, um, but if I can get this one done today, that would be really awesome. I was actually gonna do text in um, Photoshop as well, but I actually really like this text on it. I think it's just so cute and it fits the style of it. So I might actually just stick with this um, this text that I've used here. Uh, yeah, but I am really liking it so far. <laughs> lunch and I'm downstairs now um <laughs> kind of forgot to film it I put my battery on charge but I didn't turn the plug on so it didn't charge I'm currently just getting ready the steamer is like heating up now I'm gonna just be taking all of this wallpaper off um if you I don't know how well you can see the living room right now uh let me just probably not very well and behind me like everything is just it's a mess in here, but um, we're gonna give it a go. The steamer smells really bad. So, you know what? I need the other thing first, hold on. I don't know how long you're supposed to leave it on for. I have no idea how this works, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so I ended up not talking throughout this entire thing. I actually had a hard time getting this wallpaper off the wall. I don't know what we did when we were putting it up here, but um, it was so glued to the wall. The purple flowers 
were the parts that I was really struggling with. For some reason, they would just not come off the wall. Like, other parts of the wallpaper would just slide off really easily, and other parts, like the flowers, were just completely stuck to the wall. It was a nightmare. And even after we finished the wallpaper, I ended up sanding down the fireplace because we wanted to paint it a new color. And then I had to go around with polyfiller and fill in all the holes and cracks that we had in the wall, which I didn't realize how many holes we had in the wall from shelves and paintings and stuff, but it was a lot. So this day was actually very stressful. I wasn't even sure we'd get done at all and we actually didn't end up finishing until eight o'clock at night. It was such a long day and I was so, so tired. Good morning, guys. I'm sorry for how dark and greeny it looks right now. It is currently like half seven in the morning. I woke up at six o'clock this morning because I went to bed. Like I fell asleep at nine o'clock last night. I was so tired. We managed to get it done just barely but we're ready we're finally prepped and we had to do a bit of like uh, get rid of all the wallpaper and stuff as well so it was it was a, it was a long long day um so i just kind of didn't fit, film much because i was like too busy just trying to get everything done because there was a couple of points where i didn't think we would get everything done um in time because we wanted to start painting today i also did a little test swatch which is what that was on the wall this is the swatch of paint that we tested it looks a lot darker because it's like really dark in here right now it's still early morning outside so the sun is still rising so it's <laughs> really dark but it's it's a bit lighter when, when we first put it on it was really dark which i actually liked it i because what, what we're planning to do is we're planning to paint this white and then we're planning to get white shelves and stuff and my small business is like kind of corner is gonna be here so i think a darker color will be better because we're kind of painting everything else white so yeah we're actually taking this opportunity i haven't even guys showed you guys kitchen like you guys have seen the living room how messy it is you guys haven't even seen the kitchen like i think the kitchen's kind of worse because it's like a smaller room <laughs> this is currently our kitchen <laughs> we have a really big cupboard here and we have so much stuff in here that was like pushed right to the back and we don't use half the stuff like we have like a hole down here we have like a whole box of reading glasses. No one in this house uses reading glasses. I mean, I have like prescription glasses, but I don't have reading glasses. These are my reading glasses, <laughs> technically. So we're actually taking this opportunity to just kind of get rid of a bunch of stuff as well and do like a massive clean out. So that's why we've kind of just left everything lying around as well because before we put everything away, we're going to get rid of everything we don't need and do one big clean out. So even though we've gotten ready and prepped for painting, we're still, we've still got a lot to do. I am going out later to see my friends uh, because I haven't seen them for a while. I've been very busy working on my small business stuff. That's my plan. My mum is currently working upstairs. She has work this morning. So I'm going to be doing this alone until probably around one o'clock, half one. And then I think at like two, half two, I'm going to probably have to go upstairs and get showered and get ready. Because I haven't showered this morning because I was like, well, I'm going to get I'm going to get loads of paint everywhere. So I just threw on some old clothes and um, got, got straight to it, basically. I had some breakfast and here we are. I'm going to kick my cat out of the sitting room because they're all down here. <laughs> and we're going to get started. I look like a little bit of a mad scientist this <laughs> This is the part that always feels slightly wrong when you're dipping like this into the paint for the first time. <laughs> it always feels slightly weird. Okay. Now I'm doing the fireplace 
And then all I've got to do is that little alcove there. And all I really wanted to get done today was these two walls, because once my mum finishes work and I go out, she's going to do the other two. And I already kind of started on the other wall, because I kind of did around the door frame as well. So it's been very good progress. Obviously, this is just the first coat. It's going to need another layer, because it's very blotchy right now. It's been going pretty good. I didn't realise how much my arms were hurting, though, until I went and made coffee. And I was, like, trying to scoop the coffee out of the, out of the can, and I was like... <sighs> I was like really shaking. My arms are really starting to hurt now, but um, it's going good. I think the color's really nice. It does dry a little bit lighter than this, but I think it's just a really nice kind of brown with like a kind of undertone of like pinkiness. It's it's really nice. And we're gonna have like white shelves and I'm gonna paint the, if I have time today, which I think I actually might, might get a, the first layer of white paint onto the fireplace as well today. So it is about three o'clock now. I got those two walls done. I did the fireplace um, and my mum is currently doing the other two walls. I am gonna head out now. Um, I need a little break. <laughs> that actually was really tiring. I didn't realize until I stopped doing it that how tired I was getting. So I also helped my mum clean up the whole kitchen area as well. And we threw away a bunch of stuff and like did like a big clean out of the cupboard and everything. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go spend some time with my friends, have a break, eat some good food, play some games, and I will see you guys tomorrow for hopefully the final part of this whole redecorating the downstairs work area. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is Monday now. I had today off, um, which is good because yesterday I didn't film anything from Sunday. On Saturday night when I went to my friend's house, I got back very late, so I didn't sleep until like midnight. And then my cat, Ash, he wouldn't leave me alone. He was sitting on my face, he was purring, he was drooling on me. He was like trying to like make biscuits on me, but like on my face and on my cheek. And he has like, his claws were out and stuff while he was doing it. It was painful and I couldn't sleep very well. And then <laughs> I ended up waking up at like seven o'clock or something so I think that entire night I was on like five or six hours of sleep which wasn't great and then I ended up painting doing the second layer of paint which was really boring anyway it went by quite fast from like eight in the morning until like 12 and did the fireplace I gave that another second coat of paint technically it was the third coat of paint because my mum had already done one and then uh yeah we just cleaned up everything and moved everything back and I was very tired and I just I was going to film the cleanup a little bit, but I was so exhausted. And I was working from like eight in the morning until six o'clock at night. I finished at six o'clock last night and I was exhausted. And I wanted to vlog, but the thought of it, the thought of being on camera with how tired I was, I was just like, no. <laughs> Yeah, it turned out really well. I really like the color. The fireplace does need a second coat of white on it. Um, my workspace is actually, it doesn't look that great. I actually did manage to get rid of the brown drawers that I had, which was really good because I cleared up some space. The TV is also not going to be staying down in the corner as well. That's going to be going on the wall above the fireplace. So that'll clear up some space. So the white chair that's in the middle of the room will not be staying there. It will be moving. Um, and my workspace, it looks slightly better. I managed to get all of my boxes and stuff under the desk which like makes it look a lot clearer and a lot nicer but I still I'm not keeping it that way so that whole area is just completely temporary right now but it still looks a lot better than what it did I really like the color I really like the white on the co um, on the coffee color it's it's really cute uh, it just it's still in the work but my workspace downstairs does look a little nicer it feels like I've got like a little corner now <laughs> I do really want to talk about actually something that I've been struggling with this past week my convention is next month I I've been getting very, very stressed over it. I expected to be a lot further forward than what I am. When I was looking through all of my convention, kind like my products and stuff that I'm making solely for conventions, like my art prints and everything, I don't have a lot. I have maybe four, and that was all I could get done in all of January. And I wanted some stickers and keychains and stuff as well, because I just think art prints aren't exactly like, like they're great. I just think that art prints these days don't do as well as what they used to, because you can get the same artwork, but in like so many different forms of like keychains and stickers. I feel like people just prefer to have like things that they can actually use, like keychains, mugs, stickers, all that kind of stuff, rather than just an art print. I mean, I love art prints, but I do think they don't 
sell as well as what they used to i don't know how it is at conventions maybe it'll be different but i really wanted to buy some keychains and stickers from my manufacturer however my manufacturer takes a long time to produce and ship products like it can take them two weeks just to like make the products depending on how backlogged they are and then it can take another two weeks to ship so i might not even get them in time at this point and i haven't even really got that much to buy i've got one sticker design maybe two sticker designs and that's it and it honestly it sucks i thought what if I started at the beginning of January after Christmas I'd have so much more time to do convention stuff I don't and I feel like I'm getting really stressed out about it because I'm not gonna have half as many things as what I wanted for my convention I do think my style of products in general like my art style and everything fits in with like convention the people that like going to conventions will typically like my kind of art style it's like kind of my target audience anyway i just think i'd do a lot better if i had like convention products not just my own products if that makes sense i really wanted to do a launch as well with like my tumblers um i wanted to have my coasters up and maybe some planner pads as well and it's just again taking so long because I'm trying to do the convention prep but I'm also trying to do the launch I know I can't do the launch until after the convention the more conventions I do the better my stock will get for conventions it's just like so annoying because I feel like I worked so hard to get so many designs done and I feel like I've been drawing almost non-stop which I've really been enjoying drawing lately but it's just so annoying because it feels like I'm still so behind on everything my launch god knows when it's gonna happen <sighs> I need to stop basically is what I'm saying so my focus for this morning is my banner. I want to at least have a good banner for like the the table for my conventions. I want to have like an actual banner. I've been putting that behind because I've been so focused on convention products. And like I said, it's not going to happen. And I just have to accept it that it's not going to happen. I'll try and make a couple of mugs and stuff for it. And hopefully that will do. And a couple of like art prints and stuff. But keychains and stickers for conventions will have to wait until my next convention. Because it's not happening this time around. It's just not. <laughs> I was trying so hard to make it happen and getting so stressed and I think today I just realized it's not worth the stress because I can stress about it all I want but at this point it's too late. I should have really have started this convention prep back in like November time and I didn't. It's a learning curve. So yeah just a little update on that. So this morning I'm gonna work on my banner. Like my little profile picture whatever little cartoon me and the cat but to be honest i don't know how much i like it i think i don't know maybe i should just like not have them there like just have it like this for the front of my table like a banner for the front of my table and for youtube and stuff as well because no i don't know what do i want well, I know I just spent like an hour drawing that, like an hour and a half drawing my character and the cat, but I just, it's not bad with them there, I just, they don't really go, I guess. It is just a banner, I don't think people are going to pay that much attention to it, so I think maybe I'll just leave it like this. And then for YouTube as well, it makes it a little less awkward, because obviously you've got to think about what it looks like on TV, and then like you've got to do like the laptop and the mobile ones, like it there's different sections you've got to think about and you've got to make sure that it all fits in like a one section. So this would be a lot easier to sort out as a YouTube banner. of orders um, one of my tech videos on tiktok is doing pretty well right now i woke up this morning and it had like 5,000 views and i only posted it like seven o'clock last night so that was a shocker it's currently on like 10,000. so i had a couple of orders in from uh tiktok which is really cool because tiktok does not bring me a whole lot of orders to be honest so that was really nice so we're gonna pack those now i'm gonna need to cut off a bunch of this first though I 
I think because of the past few days, I'm still extremely tired. <laughs> I'm still so tired from this weekend. So if I don't have much energy right now, that's probably why. Okay, so the first one that we have is going to Hannah from Canada. Thank you very much, Hannah. Some more uh, of my labels that I have, my packaging. Okay, one down. The next one is for Emma from Sweden. Uh, she got a cat bookmark and a tabby cat keychain as well. And there we go, there's Emma's. Next, we have an order for Sophie from the UK. Sophie got a happy ducking birthday, uh, birthday card and a plant lover's pin as well. And the last order we have is for Shelly, also for the UK. So, Shelly got a whole bunch of stickers. She got two cat bookmarks. She got the cat sticker sheet and the cat tote bag. Thank you so much for your order, Shelly. And there we go, all of the orders that I got today. Thank you guys so much. I think now I really want to finish that banner. I think I'm very close to it. I'm just kind of rearranging a few things on it, making sure it looks all like nice and neat and stuff. But I think I might actually buy my banner today. And that's one thing off of my to-do list for this month, which I'd be very, very thankful for. So that's what I'm gonna work on now. So um, I'm just doing my, finishing up my logo now so I can buy it. I'm not sure because I'm looking at the manufacturer sizes. What, I don't know what size to go for. Usually tables at markets and conventions usually are like six foot long. Usually, not always. So I'm thinking maybe don't get a six foot one just on the, you know, for those times where the tables are a little smaller than six foot. Because sometimes for like certain conventions even, I think actually one of the conventions that I booked this year, the one in October I believe, I think the table for that's only like four foot. So I'm thinking the four foot one would be pretty good. I, I don't necessarily feel like I need one that covers the whole length of the table. Because if I get six foot and then I end up with a table that's five foot or four foot long, it's not going to look that great. But also if I end up with like doing two tables... At certain marketing conventions, if I buy two tables in the future, will, will it look too small then? I don't really want to buy both. I mean, I haven't booked any markets or conventions this year that have two tables in them. So I'm having a bit of like a decision issue where I kind of did one with stars and I did one without. I do kind of like the one with stars, to be honest. I think I might go for that one for my table banner and my YouTube banner. I mean, that one's a bit more minimalistic, but I think this one just, I don't know, it adds a little something extra and I kind of like it. I did decide against putting my characters into the logo and banner. I just think it doesn't really need it, to be honest. I want something that's kind of plain and minimalistic. I don't want something that's like too distracting and stuff. Just something extra to make my table look a little bit nicer. I think having the cute and fun stationary kind of slogan in my name and stuff there is going to be really good because it just it might bring over a couple of people if they can see it's like stationary and stuff and it can get a bit of a feel for the table before they actually get close to the table if that makes sense so and I think for now I'm just going to go with the four foot one if I need a bigger one in the future if I feel like I need a bigger one then I can get a bigger one I feel like the four foot by two foot is gonna be probably more than enough to be honest yeah i think i'm gonna go for the four foot by two foot one for now 
because that's still pretty big. Okay, so um, I am very tired right now. Um, I did just buy the banner, so that's on its way here. I think I still need to recover from the weekend. I've had a very long weekend, like I said before as well. I've been very, very stressed lately, just with like so much to think about, like having my first convention coming up, wanting to do a Tumblr launch. It's just all been very very stressful <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna leave it there if you did like this video then please subscribe i'd love to have you on for future vlogs while i continue to grow my small business if you want to check out the last vlog that i did you can click this video right here thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna go lie down now and i'll see you in the next one bye